Hello True Believers! Time to do another Mobile Legends gameplay video and this time this game is significant because I am number one I am playing with Hero so every game is significant and he is playing his main which is his free sandwich over here. As usual I'm playing Uranus and he's playing the tank over here. So this is him playing his main character and I, this one is my only character we were we decided to switch sides because he hates being the he hates the top lane and me i like the top lane because the creep minion is easy to access but here he is over here let's focus more on him <clears throat> and the reason why i picked this game because this one's significant after over after trying over three years now he's been playing this game over three years he finally ranked up to mythic so if you're not familiar with the game there's three levels i mean there's several levels the first level is grandmaster after you win enough games you rank up to to epic then after epic legend and after legend mythic so pretty much everybody that's everybody's pretty much reaches the highest level at mythic so he needs just one more game to become mythic then after that he's gonna be he finally achieved the mythic rank and he's been trying to get that and, I, and that's the reason why i played this game was to get him out of epic for been playing for while I was in prison he started playing this for like two and a half years he was always in epic so I I realized that the only way he can get out of epic is if I started playing also because you need teammates that are reliable you can't be everywhere at once so I said the only way you're gonna get out of epic after a time two and a half years is if I started playing so within a few weeks he he went from epic to legend and then after legend uh, we tried for just a few months and he finally made it to mythic with this game so we as you can see we had a good start let's go back there's not that I'm action much action where i'm at over here so we're off to a good start we got two kills and i told hero let's build on this this is we need this game to win because you need this if you win this, you become mythic. If not, you're like one star, at one, you're one step back. Because you need five, you need six stars to get to the next level. If you win, you get a star. If you lose, you lose a star. So you don't want to be one step forward, two steps back. That's why it's hard to rank up. As the level of competition gets harder and your teammates are not as good. It's like I said, it's a crapshoot. It's so random what kind of teammates you're gonna get. But at least you've got one teammate that's me that's gonna be reliable. So over here, we get into a fight. There's a team fight over here on this side. So we got a Franco that does the hooks. So let me see if I could. We were able to get the turtle, it looks like. So we're doing good. We got two kills. We just got the turtle. And I haven't died yet. I should, have, I should have switched over to this turtle fight. But anyway, uh, so far so good. Uh, we got the turtle, we got two it, and Hero just slayed an enemy, as you can see. So he's got three, so the score is 3-0. So I said, the important thing now is don't die. So I said, okay, they're trying to gank me because they know I don't have any damage. I have no offense. So they, so they, they love going after the team punching bag over here. So as you can see, I've got two enemies right here and possibly a third. I've got a Bruno, which is a marksman, and the monkey, which is a fighter. So I've got two, two enemies that do play and uh, they're marksmen. So I've got two marksmen and two fighters now, as you can see. So I'm in trouble. So I back up because I've got three enemies, which is good. And then over here, we've got my, one of my teammates. So that's a three versus two. It was three versus three enemies versus two of us and the turret. So we use the third turret as our third. And here we go. Here comes their core. Their core comes in. So now 
<laughs> we still got a three versus two situation to do. So I said the important thing right now is I don't die. So we got another kill right there. So while they're trying to chase a kill with me, my job is supposed to play conservative. So I've been, I'm playing ultra conservative over here. I'm keeping them busy, I'm keeping them occupied, I'm keeping them from getting the objective. So I'm helping the team win. And I said, okay, Franco, hook this person. And we get an easy kill. So I'm level 7. The enemy, I think, is okay, level 5. He gets a hook, and I get in there, and I get some action, and we get another kill. The seventh kill. So everything is snowballing <laughs> into our way now. It's like a domino effect. So seven kills, zero deaths. So our team is doing good. And now next is taking down this tower. So with all those deaths from the enemy, they got a long death timer. And we just got the turtle again. So this is, it's almost like a 80 to 90 percent that this is going to result in a win. And, but there's still, we're talking about 10, 20 percent that we could throw the game and lose. So the important thing and the only way that we're going to lose now is if I die. So the important thing now is to complete the objectives, take down the more towers I take, and then okay, here there's two of them. So I pop one of my releases, one of my escapes to make sure that I don't get any cornered or there's no risk of me dying at all. Like I said, the only way to lose the game now is if I die. I don't, we don't need to do it. I don't need to do anything. I just need to, I don't need to get any kills. I don't need to get insists. I just need to keep the lanes clear, keep their minions back, and don't die. And keep their enemy occupied. Keep the pressure on, that's all. So team destroyed a turret. Heroes destroying turrets on the other side of the map. I'm keeping two of the enemy over here busy, focused on me, keeping them from getting involved in any team fights. They're the two damage heroes. They're the two marks. So they they can't go around and complete the other objectives because they're too busy. Uh, from my pressure of being pushed over here, they got, there's still two towers on this lane that I need to take down. So here we go, they're dying, the score is 12-1. And I am free after their deaths, I am free. So there are three deaths, I am free to take out this tower. So there's a 95% probability now that we're going to win. Look at all, we still have all our towers. We haven't, we only had one death. There's only one power left on this lane. And the other lanes also are being pushed. So it's just a matter of time. We're all pushing. And we've got their tank mage and they've got their fighter over here. So that's the way I like it. So I'm gonna, and then our core engages them. So I see an opening there. And I decide to get some action and I think I get an assist. And we get two kills, or one kill instantly right there. But my, as you can see, my teammate dove the tower. He, it wasn't necessary for him to dive the tower, but sometimes you get so far ahead, you take risks, stupid risks. So I wasn't gonna do that. And that's how games are throwing you, like you're pressured to end the game right away because you don't want to lose. And then you make a bad decision and you die and there's a long death timer. And there's a, and there's a, here we go. We, I get this kill on this one and then an enemy and bam. So three of them are dead. Your team destroyed a turret. The turret is almost dead. Uh, Hero was able to get rid of the turret on the other side. I'm here, so this so Hero is already can feel his status now with this game. And here we go. Time to push this, and we're just playing conservative now. I told Hero just to keep the lanes clear, just what I'm doing. Don't engage, don't try to get a kill, and just keep the pressure on. And keep this minions back, so we got some minions over here. I'm just gonna clear this, and clear my minions. They're in full, they're, they're, all their, the enemy is in full force. They're all alive, all five of them, and just trying to get this one, and nope, we didn't get the hook. So just it's just a matter of time before I get this tower. I think all the other towers are dead already. Let me go check. So let me see. Another tower dead. No, still, 
middle tower is still alive. And our Franco dies again. So I said, I'm not Nothing gonna... Their monkey died, but our Franco Whoa. died, so it's 4 versus 4. Okay, we're not gonna throw the game. All our turrets are still healthy. We only got 2 turrets left, and I'm on my way to taking down this last turret on this lane. So, the Lord is active. But I'm not gonna go after that. I'm too far away, so I'm just going to show myself to the enemy over here. And Hero gets a kill on the other turret, and our jungler and Hero gets another kill, so double kill. So here we go. A nice kill. There's, we have a four versus two situation. They're pushing, and they're pushing. And here we go, last turret here, and I'm taking care of it. My responsibility. It's my duty to get rid of this last tower. So now this last tower is gone, reinforcements are gonna come in, they're gonna be pressured, there's no way they can get out of their base. And here I get into I get part of the fight. And we got one hook, but that hook is gonna result in a kill. So we get so now and another So now we got a five versus one situation. <laughs> Five versus one now, there's no advantage. Hero's going after another kill, and he gets a fourth kill, and so we get two kills, and I think our teammates are gonna get a third kill. Oh, okay, I get, sorry, I get involved, and we get a third kill. So now the enemy's done, and now we're gonna go for a fourth kill. Ta da! Hero wins. And finally gets his mythic rank. So after this, it was funny. Look at our score. If you look at I'm in the fifth spot right here. I got two kills, zero deaths, and six assists. Same thing with Hero. He's got seven kills, zero deaths, and six assists. Our other teammates are only two deaths, one death, two deaths. So this was like the perfect game and... It, the good part about it is it resulted in an easy win and he finally got his mythic rank title and it was so funny it was just within seconds not even minutes uh, one of his friends calls him up on uh, messenger and tells him that congratulations becoming mythic and out of all his group that he he plays on a regular basis with or used to play on a regular basis until he started playing with me that he is the highest rank among them and he's probably two levels higher than them than that he can't play and the sad part about this is this is good news but i can no longer play with him because he's two ranks higher so i mean the reason why i played i started playing this this game was to play with him so <clears throat> now he's two ranks higher i'm gonna have to solo rank on my own to see if i can get to the legend rank but it's okay i don't mind solo ranking especially on a day like this where it's rainy there's no, we can't go, we can't play football training, we can't train for football, and the gym is still closed, so this is the only thing to do is online gaming. So congratulations, Hero, for getting your Mythic title, and it's a big deal for him and his friends because they, they it's their, it's, it's like their status. It's like how good are they, how, you know, are they good enough to uh, play the game so there you go. To them, it's a big deal. To me, it's okay for him. I'm happy for him. So, um, so congratulations to Hero. He also got Mythic Legendary Player, student athlete of the, his school. And he. so a lot of good news is coming our way. And after you're talking about two and a half years of miser misery, uh, finally, we're getting some good some good karma finally after two and a half years of ba bad karma if you believe in that uh, system anyway i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next play the next gameplay video and thank and congratulations again to hero for reaching a mythic level so this was the game that we needed to win and we were able to win hands down stop recording <laughs>